Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's March 1st, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of March 1st, 2024, Vanek Low Carbon Energy is currently at an asking price of $98.49. Vanguard ESG is currently at an asking price of $91.36. Atlantica Sustainable is hovering around $17.95. Waste Management Stock is currently trading at an asking price of $204.53. And Chevron Core is at $153.81. But now moving into the news, first up, in Maine, the state's House of Representatives narrowly approved a bill that would help keep commercial food waste out of landfills by requiring some large producers donate their edible leftovers and recycle their scraps. The House voted 76-64 to adopt LD-1009, a bill introduced by Representative Stanley Ziegler. The bill, which was endorsed in January by the Environment and Natural Resources Committee, now heads to the Senate for consideration. Representative Ziegler said, quote, The bill has the ability to help reach the state goal of reducing solid waste below a half ton per capita. Unfortunately, right now, a lot of our waste is food. End quote. And up next, Cyclic Materials, an advanced metals recycling company building a circular supply chain for rare earth elements and other critical metals, has expanded its operations to accept two new feedstock streams, wind turbine generators and MRI machines. Cyclic Materials proprietary mag extract and hydrometallurgy technologies are the first in the world with the capacity to isolate magnets from any end-of-life product and then convert this magnet feedstock to mixed rare earth oxides, cobalt nickel hydroxides, and other raw materials. The CEO and co-founder of Cyclic Materials said, quote, MRIs and wind turbines bring incredible opportunities to recover critical commodities essential to the energy transition. Our magnet agnostic recycling technology extracts valuable critical metals from end-of-life products and feeds these commodities back into North American and European supply chains, end quote. And now moving to Connecticut, Verigy, a leading solar energy developer based in West Hartford, announced recently that the company has received permits from the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection to convert former landfills in Deep River, Middleton, and Montville into sites that will host solar energy projects. The capped landfills will now host projects with an aggregate production of over 2,600 megawatt hours of zero carbon clean energy annually, enough to power over 250 homes for a year. And just a reminder, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or call them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Now moving to Colorado... Frisco launched a new waste reduction business grant to encourage local businesses to foster innovation around waste reduction. The grant was propelled by the passage of ordinances intended to reduce waste in the town. The ordinances include a ban on polystyrene to-go containers, the elimination of single-use plastic water bottles, a request-only requirement for single-use takeout items, and a requirement to have paper bags with 100% recycled materials. The new grant will be up to $10,000 and will be awarded on a rolling basis throughout the year. Now popping over to our nation's capital, the mayoral Bowser administration, through efforts led by the Department of Public Works, released the district's plans to achieve a more sustainable future, maximize the benefits of renewable and reusable resources, and minimize the amount of waste and greenhouse gas emissions generated by residents and government agencies by diverting 80% of solid waste away from landfills and incinerations. 
DPW director Timothy Spriggs said, quote, This is a comprehensive strategy for sustainable solid waste management aimed to inform future policy development and decision making. It will require significant investment and a cohesive effort on the part of district government and its regional partners, as well as a concerted effort by residents and businesses to adopt more sustainable practices. Together, we can realize our city's zero waste goals. End quote. And now moving to Texas, Clean Energy Fuels Corps announced the opening of two new renewable natural gas fueling stations that service heavy duty trucks and other fleet vehicles. One station is located in North Fort Worth near Alliance and DFW airports, while the other is in South Dallas close to I 45 and are strategically located near dozens of distribution centers and allow trucks to take advantage of a fuel that provides similar convenience as diesel, yet is rated as one of the cleanest in the world. And lastly, in New England, Revive Environmental, a leader in contaminant mitigation and water treatment, announced a partnership with Northeast Purification Systems to destroy PFAS chemicals and mitigate further contamination risks across New England. Northeast offers PFAS remediation, trucking, and logistics services. The partnership combines Northeast's local waste logistics and hauling expertise with Revive's proven PFAS annihilator technology, providing New England organizations with a complete end-to-end -end PFAS liability management solution. Revive Environmental's president even said, quote, We are thrilled to partner with Northeast Purification Systems to make complete PFAS destruction a reality in New England. Organizations are facing significant risks from PFAS, and this partnership will enable them to responsibly and confidently destroy PFAS, eliminating liability and making water safe for all, end quote. And that has been your Recyclist News Update for March 1st, 2024, presented by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another episode of Recyclist. Thank you. <laughs>